how to spend five days in morocco welcome to our channel and today we're going to explore an incredible destination morocco in this video we'll show you how to make the most of your five-day trip to this enchanting country don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for future videos day one rabat the majority of visitors from abroad land at rabat Casablanca or even Marrakesh. Your schedule should include all three of these cities, and since they're close together, it is simple to change your plans accordingly. Just choose the cheapest flight there and go. Reside in Riyadh As we did when we arrived in Rabat, the Moroccan capital, make your way to Riyadh and settle in. Moroccan riots are breathtaking. So you're sure to have your first oh my gosh I'm in Morocco moment here. There are numerous stunning Moorish arches and vibrant zellige tile. Former mansions converted to hotels, cold riots, provide a unique experience. It's likely that you'll see a plain door from the street. But usually, that door leads to a lovely courtyard with a fountain or pool that is encircled by private bedrooms. The image is completed with winding staircase and mood lighting from lovely lanterns. The inside of a riot is intended to serve as a space for family gatherings while maximizing solitude from the outside world. My recommendation is to reserve a 5-star riot because lodging in Morocco is reasonably priced by US standards. Below are some suggestions. The fact that many riots have an on-site restaurant and virtually always offer a sumptuous breakfast is a bonus. Evening dinners can be of varying quality, but they are a practical choice after a long day of travel. Visit Kasbah of the Odayas The Kasbah of the Odayas, a 12th-century structure that is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, should be the first stop in your day-long exploration of the city. Since the 10th century, this kasbah or stronghold has kept watch over the area near the modern town of Salie, perched on a hill at the mouth of a river. While you are here, be sure to see the Babodaya or Great Gate of the Kasbah, one of the most exquisite gates showing Moroccan architecture it is thought to be. See Hassan Tower and the Mausoleum of Mohammed V. From there, proceed to the neighboring Mausoleum of Mohammed V and the unfinished Hassan Tower, both of which date to the 12th century. The tombs of Moroccan King Mohammed V and his two sons are located there. Additionally, you'll probably see the striking and contemporary Mohammed VI Tower, a stark white obelisk against the Rabat skyline. It hasn't been done yet, but it's on pace to become the highest building in Africa. Your evening should end with a delicious meal. Try your first tagine you'll want to. Moroccan tagine is an incredibly excellent slow-cooked stew that is traditionally made over a charcoal fire. It is named for the earthenware pot in which it is cooked. It consists of couscous, veggies, and either beef, fish, or chicken. There is a vegetarian option too. On our very first evening at Darj Naji Rabat, we had one of the tastiest tagines we had while spending two weeks in Morocco. Check out the freshly squeezed fruit juices as well. Where to stay in Rabat? In our first night in Morocco, the Riyadh Zayu Rabat left a wonderful first impression. This Medina Riyadh is quaint and tiny, yet it offers a fantastic breakfast. Day 2 Chef Shawin A four hour trip from Rabat will take you into the Rif Mountains and to Chef Shawin, often known as the Blue City. What makes it known as the Blue City, since blue is the predominant color throughout the town? There are various accounts of how this came to be. One claims that the Sephardic Jews introduced the customs of painting building a sky blue color. Spending the night here provides you plenty of opportunity to enjoy the morning all to yourself because Chef Shawin may get congested with day visitors. Another claims that the color blue stands for the unity and tranquility in which Jews and Muslim coexist in this place. During World War II, many Jews immigrated to Chifchawen in order to avoid Hitler's Nazis. In any event, this small town's laid-back vibe and beautiful splendor 
make it a sought-after travel destination. Spend the day exploring the city, perusing the markets and dining on the original fare. Where to stay in Chef Chowen? Dar Ai Chowen Dar Ai Chowen is a recommended place to stay in Chef Chowen. This is a magnificent hilltop villa with a gorgeous pool, sweeping views of the blue city and genuinely exquisite rooms. The on-site restaurant was decent but not outstanding, so I would plan dinner somewhere else the next time, but I would absolutely stay here again. Day 3 Tufes via Volubilis and Meknes From Shifshawen in the south, it takes around 3 and a half hours to go to Fez, which is the next suggested stop. Although there are some amazing sights along the way, anticipate to spend the majority of the day traveling. Before arriving in Volubilis, a 2,000-year-old UNESCO site of ancient Roman ruins, you'll travel through some picturesque farmlands where olives and grapes are farmed. The most southern outmost of the Roman Empire is what you can observe in these ruins. Between the ruins of Roman villas, taverns, arches, and intact tile mosaic floor all over the place, there is a lot to see. In fact, that Volubilis is a little of the main path is one of the best features. We were the only ones taking it all in here, along with our guide and a few other individuals. Before finishing the day in Fez, you could also wish to make a trip in adjacent Meknes, another Moroccan imperial city. It is well recognized for its Moorish design. While you're here, check out the stunning Bab El Mansur, one of Morocco's biggest and most remarkable gates from the 18th century. Where to stay in Fez? When you arrive at the five star Palais Faraj Hotel, you'll feel like a celebrity. It once served as an Arab Moorish palace. Your room is a large full suite with salad tile flooring. Also included in your stay is the most amazing breakfast buffet. On site, there is a hammam as well. In the future, I'd avoid the expensive on site restaurant and try the rooftop cafe instead. Day 4 Fez Greetings from Fez. The oldest university in the world is located in this wonderful imperial city and its Medina is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It should take up at least one whole day on your schedule. Fes, one of the largest and oldest cities in the nation, is a living museum with a stunning collection of medieval buildings, including the renowned University of al qurnan which was built in the 9th century and is still in operation today. Fes is divided into three separate neighborhoods. Ville Nouvelle, built during the French Revolution, Fez GDID, where the Jewish district is located near the palace, and Fez El Bali, the oldest portion of the city with 9,000 winding lanes and streets in the Medina. But you can't leave Fez without having a genuine admiration for the amazing craftspeople that live here. We had a great day visiting a pottery studio to watch ceramic tagines being created and watch tile craftsmen pound salvage tiles the old-fashioned way. Visit a letter tannery to witness how letter is made traditionally to cap of the day. The Truora Tannery is the most well-known. Day 5 To Mirzoga Leave this after breakfast and start the journey to the Sahara Desert hamlet of Mirzoga. Even though the trip takes more than 7 hours to complete, it is totally worthwhile. Ifrain in the center of the Atlas Mountains is a fantastic site to stop along the route. It is renowned as Morocco's little Switzerland and is beautiful and green and snowy when we were there in February. In addition, a cedar forest here is home to wild monkeys. Please keep in mind not to feed animals if you are fortunate enough to see them and take in their beauty from a distance. You will eventually cross the renowned tunnel and the Ziz Valley. The ochre-colored cliffs, panoramic views are definitely worth seeing. Numerous date palms, figs, and olive trees can be found in this region. Numerous alfos palm palm lines the area, framing the vistas. Where to stay in the Sahara Desert? Stay at Desert Lovers Luxury Camp if you're looking for a place to stay in the Sahara Desert. A private toilet and shower, plush beddings, Wi-Fi and two hot meals each day are all included in your accommodation. 
Sadly, it's time to bid farewell to Morocco. Whether you depart from Casablanca or head to the airport for your onward journey, you'll leave with incredible memories. We hope you've enjoyed this virtual journey through Morocco and that our suggested itinerary has inspired you to plan your own 5-day adventure in this captivating country. Remember, this itinerary is just starting point and there's so much more to explore in Morocco. Each city and region has its own unique charm and attractions. So take your time, embrace the rich culture, savor the delicious cuisine, and create lifelong memories in this extraordinary destination. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more travel guides and destination inspiration. If you've been to Morocco or have any tips to share, let us know in the comments below. Safe travels and until next time!